Welcome back. It's a barber shop with a lot of history. It first opened its doors back in 1948. The original owner is gone, but today it's being run by one of his sons. Greg Diaz has that story in today's Comi Gente. We were there in 2008 when Cerda's barber shop in Far celebrated its 60th anniversary. His wife cut the ribbon. All right. Gabriel Cerda passed away the year before, but his showcase barbershop remains, now run by one of his sons. I was born in that house, and my brother Angel, three of us were born behind the barbershop. It was when the doctor used to come and deliver babies at home. His father was a German prisoner of war for two years and two months. His wife remembers. But when he came back, he came and he wanted to be a barber, and there were no schools here, so he had to go to San Antonio, and that's where we met. She was a San Antonio girl, and that's where they married. He never left this place. He, and the, the, I think that's the reason he made a lot of uh, uh, customers. He would be in the barber shop by 6 o'clock. But when his father spoke about the war, he says he had some horrifying stories to tell. See, when he was a prisoner of war, the Germans didn't even have enough food for their own uh, soldiers. And they said that they were going to eliminate, they were going to count to 10. Number 10, they were going to eliminate all that war. After all these years, the only time the barbershop has closed was this March due to the coronavirus. And then they gave us permission to open up on May the 5th. But I didn't want to open May the 5th because I was going to give it one more uh, month. But when I did open, I, I, on each customer I wear gloves, a brand new pair of gloves, my mask, and uh, disinfect. I only let one customer in at a time. Hey, baby, que pasó? But there was a time when he and his dad were favorites with their musician customers. Uh, they used to bring their accordions, uh, trumpets, uh, guitarras, and we would jam out here. Javier himself is a 22-year veteran of the Army National Guard, and so he keeps his father's barber chair as a special space. We took a World War II cap to POW, and those are the last shoes he wore. With his mother watching, he says, this barbershop is special in the Valley and in Texas. This barbershop is 72 years. It's the same building, same location, and same owner. Cerda's Barbershop Afar, a Hispanic heritage. Hasta mañana. Thank you. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Call me.